If you can hang around for 10 minutes on this video, I will be giving you life-changing information because if you are just an XRP maxi or do not understand the landscape that is being built right now, you are heading down a certain pathway. And I want to explain to you exactly what is truly going on here and what is actually happening. And I'm going to get right into it because I do not want to waste your time and your time is precious. It, you know, we only have so much time on this world. So I don't even know why I'm saying this philosophy thing. Let's get into it. Okay, XRP versus Bitcoin. Why will the banks actually prefer Bitcoin? You may think this is ridiculous because the whole XRP narrative is that banks will actually choose XRP and XRP is the best and most efficient. This is a lie. YouTubers are paid to promote XRP. People are paid to promote XRP. And I'm here to tell you guys the truth, okay? And the truth is we have an incoming massive debt crisis. This world is running off of debt. This world is running off so much debt, so much printing, that inflation is going to ruin the world on a global scale. Inflation is going to hit everywhere on a global scale. This is why we're seeing Bank of America come out and say that it's warning that gold is the last safe haven as treasuries face risk from soaring United States debt. I'm telling you guys the signs are here. This is going to happen. The printing machine can't continue to go up. The reason stocks are going up is not because the economy is booming. It is because of the massive inflation and the constant printing of money that the Fed is doing. The banks, and I'm here to tell you guys the truth, the banks do not care. XRP is not even on their radar. It's not even close. These YouTubers are paid. And I'm going to prove it to you in this video exactly what's happening. So first off, let's understand the benefit for banks of Bitcoin. There's a maximum of 500,000 to 700,000 transactions per day. This is due to one, the block size, but also the block time. And it has to stay this way. If the block size was to increase, then the node storage requirements would be so high that the network would be centralized and would self-destruct. That's like BSV, uh, an issue with BSV. The block time is also locked in because they want to reach consensus and Bitcoin wants to wait 10 minutes to make sure that consensus is achieved. So Bitcoin is almost 100% stuck in its ways, not just because that's just how it is because it's immutable tech. No, it's because people actively, the bi people behind Bitcoin want the technology to stay this way, but this makes a barrier to 500,000 to 700,000 transactions limit per day. And banks love this. Banks do not like the idea of unlimited transactions, unlimited coins. They like the idea that Bitcoin offers. And why is this such a big deal for banks? Well, it goes back to what banks are in the first place. Think about it. You put your money into the bank and they may pay you interest for your money, but the bank's goal is they want you to hold your money with them so they can be in a situation where then they can continue the debt cycle, which is the big issue that we have right now. Now, in a situation where there's only 500,000 to 700,000 Bitcoin transactions per day, we will reach a max where your Bitcoin transaction isn't going to go through. So everyone will hold Bitcoin through the bank. And just as right now, many of the banks are getting people to buy gold. Well, you could actually see a situation where if you only want to buy Bitcoin as a store of value, the only way you can do it is to buy through a bank and to hold through a bank and to trade through a bank. That's going to be the situation that we're going to get in the future 100%. This is why banks love Bitcoin. How do we know banks love Bitcoin? Well, it comes down to SAB 121. America's Bankers Association came out and basically asked Biden saying, hey, we would like to be able to use crypto. We can't do anything with SAB 121 in the way. And this administration has been blocking these banks from getting into crypto. And this is the reason why no banks provide custody for the $50 billion of U.S. Bitcoin ETFs and the more recent Ether ETFs. It's never been about XRP changing the financial system. Because you may say, you may sit here and say, hey, Nodi, everything you said is great. That all makes sense. I understand, right? Bitcoin has limited transactions. That's why banks are going to be running to offer Bitcoin. And that's why they're going to be pumping the price of Bitcoin. Because they can only hold Bitcoin and you have to go through the banks, giving the banks power again. So even in a debt crisis, even in a financial crisis, you still have to go back to the banks. That's the situation. That is the reason why Bitcoin will always be number one and it won't be XRP. But why won't it be XRP on another level? 
because Chainlink is the link to allow Swift to enter crypto. Because people come out here, these YouTubers who are paid off will tell you, they will tell you to your face. They will literally tell you, oh, people, banks are going to use XRP for the liquidity. That argument no longer makes sense with CCIP tech. Because what CCIP does is it allows you to connect the SWIFT messaging, messaging infrastructure, all the largest global financial institutions, SWIFT has over basically 12,000 bank partnerships, to every single blockchain. So what's more than XRP's liquidity? Well, tapping into any single blockchain at once. And what do we know for a fact is the biggest market in crypto possible. It's real-world asset tokenization. BlackRock said it themselves. I did a video on it. And as you guys can see here, every single chain here, what's one thing that they all have in common? Native smart contracts. XRP didn't. They, four months ago, they said, we're never going to do that. Now they're deciding to do it. If you put the pieces together, XRP has been dealing with legal issues because the truth is, the truth of this coin, people don't want to hear it, but the truth is, and it's going to hurt a lot of people who've been holding this, is some people made this coin, made, made XRP, and it made a bunch of billionaires. And now they have the XRP army to pay their bills. That's what XRP is. There's no secret, like, all this like weird stuff going on. No, this coin is a complete distraction to what they're going to do with Bitcoin. This is coin is a complete distraction for what they're doing with Stellar. It is an absolute distraction on the biggest scale possible. And it's getting all these people. It, it's so sad to see. These people clearly see that CBDCs are going to be coming. We're going to get a tokenized system. This is going to be probably private, the CBDCs. They see that we're having an incoming debt crisis and uh, inflation is going to continue to soar. And they're putting their trust into XRP, which is funnel that money is getting funneled to a bunch of billionaires. And the SEC came out here and that's what they have a problem with because we got the recent court case news. This is what's happening, whether you guys like it or not. And the lack of scalability is the reason why banks love it. Subscribe to the channel for the best information in crypto. See you in the next one.